Okay, so let's convert 7B16 to octal and binary. So normally we would take this number, we would take the hex number, we would go to decimal, and then from there we would go to octal and binary. But in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to use the shortcut method, all right? So if we do, let's just go through. So A is 10, B is 11, all right? So that is, if I want to get it into octal and binary, the easiest way to do that is to take these numbers, write it in binary. So let's write the number 7 in binary. Right, and so let's do our places in binary. So binary looks like this, right? We have the ones place, then two, then four, then eight, then we'd have 16. So if I wanted to make the number seven, I have to write it as a four digit number out of base 16, so it would be zero, one, one, one. All right, and that's the number 7, so I write that for the first place. Then I need to write the number 11, so I need an 8, I need a 2, I need a 1. So that would be 1, 0, 1, 1. All right, so that becomes 7B16 is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2, all right? And I don't have to have that 0 in front. It could just be 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. Now if I want to get from there to octal, all right, remember that we take the binary numbers and put them in groups of 3. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. And what's that equal to in base 8? So let's make groups of 3 here. All right, and so we can kind of make some place holding zeros in front. And this is the number 3, and this is the number 7, and this is the number 1. So that becomes 1, 7, 3, base 8.